Here at the Natchbull building in Mountbatten School, more than 150 local people gathered to look at early stage plans for the 1300 homes that will be built in Whitenap on the edge of Romsey. I spoke to Mr Tim Gray from the Ashfield Partnership, asking him about the expected traffic impacts. Actually you can achieve a very high trip internalisation rate. I used to work for the Duchy of Cornwall and the scheme at Poundbury manages a 30% trip internalisation rate and I think that should be our target. Uh, a well designed scheme enables you to, for example, go out of your house in the morning with your children, drop them at school, um, go to work, uh, do some shopping at lunchtime, um, perhaps in the evening do some sport or cultural activity but without ever having to get into a motor car. In other words, you can meet your daily needs on foot. So that's one way in which a scheme of this size could limit what it does in terms of um, traffic impacts. It will cause traffic impacts, there's no uh, point pretending otherwise, but I think by design we can achieve a reasonably good outcome. Can you share what role social and faith provision have in your plans for making Whitenap a good place to live? This is a very personal point. I'm committed to making provision of all types for all faiths within these large schemes. I think that um, it works best if that provision can perform a number of roles and I don't see any reason why uh, a place of worship can't be used when it's not being used for worship uh, for other uses and actually it becomes a community asset then. And the other great thing about this sort of provision is that it enables you to design a building which is non-domestic architecturally and non-domestic in scale. And part of placemaking is having reference points around a development scheme so you know where you are. It helps you to navigate the scheme. So we're all in favour. Um, and also as part of this concept of placemaking, what provision for education and healthcare will there be within the White Nap design? The local plan asks us to provide a new two-form entry primary school within the scheme and we're very keen to make that provision because schools are really important in terms of serving the needs of the residents of the scheme. We're very lucky to have other very good schools in Romsey and what we don't want to do is to provide that primary school too early in the day because we may um, take students away from the other primary schools. Healthcare is difficult. Um, healthcare is something we would really love to provide within the scheme because having a GP surgery within a scheme of this size is a great asset uh, for residents. Um, the trouble is that it's very hard to make that work from the NHS point of view um, and you need to find GPs who want to set up a new practice without taking patients away from existing practices. So again, it's a very de delicate balance, but rather like education, we'd love to make provision.